distribution. Good afternoon to you all. Yeah, Mr. Murthy K. Yeah, right, I got it. Let us start our today's session. In this crisis situation of Corona, wherever you see, what you find, the people are clueless, helpless. Where is the solution? Nobody knows. How to reach there? Nobody knows. One question may come into your mind. Why this situation has come? For that, we have to understand the nature of the world. See, this world is not a place where we can expect a comfortable, smooth living always and always. This is a place where we find the mixture of both the struggle and the achievement. The struggle, the challenges are the opportunities to explore the maximum potential of ours. The very existence of the species of human being itself since ages proves that the human beings are capable of facing the challenges and also are capable to overcome those. Is it for the first time the world has entered into a pandemic? No. If I can take you to the recent epidemics that we have faced here, swine flu that has come, come from pigs, Ebola virus, which has come from bats to animals, SARS from animals to human beings, mad cow disease from cows to human beings, mad cow disease come from UK, where the cows have been fed with the animal products, the remains of the sheep, the processed beef, etc. How ridiculous it sounds. The herbivorous animal is being fed with carnivorous products. If you look into the food habit of human being also, human beings are the only one category of creatures on the earth which belong to both the groups, herbivores and carnivores. Isn't it? So there itself, we break the chain of ecosystem and bring a threat to our inbuilt immune system of the body. So the first take away from this situation of Corona is that we should introspect, we should carefully look into our food habits. Not only that, the urbanization, the industrialization, all those. Now straightway, let me take you to the topic, corona infection. Here I have got the symptoms for you. People are just scared by hearing the name of corona. So make sure what are the symptoms in the mild case and what are the symptoms in the severe case. In mild case, we get dry cough, fever, body pain, sore throat, irritation of throat, loss of taste because of the cold, the taste buds in the tongue gets damaged, so lack of zinc will be there, loss of taste, headache. All these are coming in the mild symptoms. If it is a severe case, then the patient develops the rest of the ailments, like shortness of breath, pain in the chest, pain in the middle of the chest, where we say that the sternum bone is there, just behind that. There is loss of speech, movement, the patient collapses, but all this happen only in the severe cases. Now, 80 to 85 percent of the positive cases of corona, they have only the mild symptoms. Please do remember this. Mild cough, cold, body pain, all that, whatever I explained. While only the 4 to 5 percent 
of the positive cases, they develop shortness of breath, breathing difficulty. Nowadays, what happens because everywhere the people are so panicked, the patients are coming with the already COVID test done for them and the result is negative. And they are saying, doctor, we have shortness of breath. Yesterday we developed it, so we went to check the blood and uh, blood is uh, showing negative. Then still I have shortness of breath. Is there something hidden? Please explore. So here, the other uh, cause can be gastritis. What happens? The main cause is they will be having gastric problems. So bloating of abdomen, heaviness of abdomen, that will be there. And because of which the diaphragm, the muscle that separates the chest with the abdomen, that gets pushed up and so the person gets shortness of breath. So there we give medicine for the gastric problem, for the gas in the abdomen to be released. When we give that, the shortness of breath goes. How this in, in, infection spreads? Through droplet infection, it spreads. What does it mean? By coughing, by sneezing. That is why it is advised that you wear a mask which will cover your nose and mouth. And also it is found that it spreads through air. Yes, recently I have come across a news uh, that is being published by ICMR two, three days back hardly, where it was found that they have conducted an experiment randomly from 500 people, they have taken the blood sample from the containment zone they have taken and they found that out of those 500 in 30 percent of the cases already they have inbuilt the antibodies so you will be surprised how come it happened they have not taken any vaccination they are in the containment zone and so that is why they are in the social distancing they are maintaining isolated how come because the exposure has happened already through the air without their knowledge the body immune system it has produced the antibodies so it is a good news some more facts we will know about it the general management of course now all of us we are so familiar with this that this general management techniques you all know about just i will take you through shortly Wearing a mask, as I told you, when you cover the nose and mouth, then what happens? The infection, if the person is already infected also, that infection remains within the mask. It doesn't go and affect others. And if you are already covering this thing, mouth and nose with the mask, then if nearby there is an infected person also, you are not going to get the exposure from the other person. So wearing a mask is a must. Washing the hands as it is a already known to you the sanitizers to be used and hand wash to be used and hands should be washed for 20 seconds so that the germs they get killed social distancing we say around uh, six feet of distancing should be maintained another one thing we su suggest is you do not touch your eyes nose and mouth with your hands frequently why because eyes, nose and mouth, these are the places where the skin meets with the mucous membrane. The external layer is skin and the internal layer is the mucous membrane. So these two things are meeting here. What happens if you are exposed to this infection, then that virus comes and gets stuck to the mucous membrane of the nose, mouth or eyes. So if you keep touching those things with the hands frequently and already the virus has come there, then that gets more spread into it. By chance, if already the virus has entered into your body, then what will happen? Please do not think that if I have got a corona infection, I'm going to die. Please take out this from your mind. What happens if the virus has already entered into my body, what will happen? From the throat, it has two ways to go. One is, it will go to the wind pipe. Other is it will go to the food pipe. If it goes to the food pipe, it goes to the stomach. In the stomach, the hydrochloric acid gets released. So with that acid, this virus gets destroyed. 
and we are declared safe but unfortunately if it enters into the wind pipe then what happens it enters into the lower respiratory tract in lungs bron bronchioles the uh, wind pipe the trachea etc and there it forms fibrosis that means hardening of the mucus secretion mucus lining of the respiratory tract that is why the shortness of breath develops these are the two ways how we can see the fate of this virus inside our body all these are the general informations i have shared with you now the most important reason why i am here today i will share with you we have been following social distancing we have been following the isolation we have been washing our hands all those management techniques we have been following since months but unfortunately the result the expectations are not pleasing why because there is something deeper inside which we are not able to catch so far what is that that is the immunity immune system everywhere now we hear this word immunity some says you drink lemon water you will get immunity some says you drink hot water with honey some says you eat uh, garlic paste in the morning you will get immunity x y z what is the unique concept of bringing up this immunity in homeopathy today i will share with you much before the arrival of vaccination antibiotics etc <clears throat> Dr Christian Frederick Samuel Hahnemann in short we say Dr <clears throat> Hahnemann the father of homeopathy he has given to this world the homeopathic way of preventing a disease that to a epidemic disease how he has tackled couple of epidemics earlier and recently also how we have been controlling the epidemics with the homeopathic preventive medicines i will give you some evidence and finally i will share with you for the corona what are the homeopathic remedies i can suggest you if you have any question please put in the chat box i will be taking them the first epidemic i'll take you i'll take you to the year of 1813 typhus became epidemic that was the time when napoleon's army was marching through germany to attack russia and the army people they got affected by that they were passing through the city of leipzig and samuel hahnemann the founder of homeopathy was being given the task of giving treatment to them hahnemann has taken 180 cases of typhus that time out of which he succeeded in 178 cases and he lost only two while at that time in the conventional treatment in allopathic system the mortality rate was more than 30% that was for the first time hanuman brought homeopathy to the prevention of the disease cholera in the year of 1831 in europe it spread this epidemic got the mortality rate under the conventional treatment was very high 40 to 80% of people were dying while the russian council has reported that with the homeopathy treatment the mortality rate was under 10% it is in the year of 1831 i told you in the year of 1918 influenza became pandemic homeopathy was vastly used that time and the evidence is here that in the month of may 1921 the journal of american institute for homeopathy published a very long article making the details of the use of homeopathy for the influenza flu and it was cited there that the mortality rate in the homeopathy that time was 1.05% while in the other cases it was a 
28.2% under the allopathic method of treatment. And that time 24,000, 26,000 were the good number of cases being treated. So it is all about the past I am telling you. Now I will take you to the very recent examples. In the year of 1991, Japanese encephalitis became epidemic. In India, in the state of Uttar Pradesh, Japanese encephalitis is a problem where you get inflammation of brain and high fever will be there and it is a fatal disease that takes away the life. Central Council of Homeopathy of India, CCRH, took the preventive study on this and they advocated the use of homeopathic preventive medicine, Belladonna, that was being given to 39,250 subjects across the 96 villages of the state of Uttar Pradesh and not a single case broke out with the disease. Come to the very, very recent case of chikungunya fever. It is very much fresh in our mind. 2005, December, it affected many states, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, and the worst hit state was Kerala that reported 55.8% of cases in 2007. And we have used the remedies Bryonia 30, Eupatrium 200, like homeopathic ones, to use for the prevention of this chikungunya, which has successfully controlled the disease and contained the disease. If the evidence is so strong, then why not now? Why not to adopt this safe system of medicine now? After all, we all are aware that it has no side effects because it uses the ultra diluted form of the medicinal substance, which has got no presence of molecules in it at all. Here I give you the homeopathic preventive medicine for corona. I suggest two of the following remedies, arsenic alp 200 and bryonia 1m. How to take these two medicines? You buy in the pills form, you take four pills of each medicine with an interval of 30 minutes in between. It has to be taken for three times a day for three days. And if the prevalence is continuing, we can repeat it after a month again. You can ask me one question here. Arsenic alb is uh, almost known to you now by now. And uh, over the counter you buy, must have bought also, many of you must have used also. Because uh, Ayush ministry strongly suggesting arsenic alb. Here I am showing you the pictures of the medicine. So the Ayush ministry suggesting arsenic alb 30, but here I have recommended 200. Along with that, there is a complementary medicine, Bryonia 1M. Because Ayush ministry suggestion, if you follow, then over the counter, the people will have to buy and take it. So there, they cannot advise you for a higher potency. They will advise you for a lower, which is the safest. However, from the clinical experience, I have experienced that arsenic al 200 works much faster, much better. And since now the microorganism, the coronavirus is very, very virulent. So instead of sticking to the lower power of 30, I have raised it to arsenic 200. When you give arsenic 200, the infection comes under control. If already some infection has happened, then that comes out in the form of phlegm. I repeat, if already some infection has happened and that comes out in the form of phlegm. So as an expectorant, I suggest Bryonia 1M, which is a complementary to arsenic L. I have shown you the Swabe remedy, red cap, and I have shown you the blue cap is real remedy. The reason of showing these two is, these are the best known branded medicines uh, available in India. 
so because it is very essential for us now so i would suggest you not to compromise with the brand please go for the best brand as i have shown here swabe or sbl these are very much available at my clinic also and i offer in a very very subsidized price those who are interested they can collect from me too com when you go there you find the youtube link is there if you go there then you can visit uh, the videos i keep uploading the health related information in the form of videos so that you can take advantage of and you can subscribe me there also i think uh, 3450 people are way to beat corona the deeper cause of corona is a lowered immunity and dealing with corona all those things are there so these things you can take advantage of there is another one called fundamental cause of the disease which is inviting these organisms to come and affect and that is the immunity the lowered immunity that is the fundamental cause he says in our air in our surrounding always we are surrounded by bacteria virus organisms throughout but we all of us always do not fall sick if these organisms are capable of producing disease then why they do not affect the disease always because we are always breathing the air secondly if these organisms are the mere sole causes of the disease then why they do not affect to all the people why they affect only couple of people say four friends went to take ice cream while coming back one developed sore throat next morning one developed headache nasal blockage while the rest other two remained healthy nothing happened if ice cream is the cause of the disease then why it did not cause the problem in the other healthy too it is to be thought thoroughly there is a immune system inside our body there is a immunity inbuilt in our body when the immunity is strong none of these organisms can affect us if the immunity is down only then you will get the disease affecting us so instead of stressing upon that how we can control over the environment um, bacteria virus parasite rather give little stress how to increase the immunity Yes, Mr. Murga will asking. Once Corona has infected us, first thing to be done is at home. Yes, definitely you have to be. Otherwise, you will spread the infection to others. <clears throat> Please repeat that dosage, Mrs. Uh, Neela Krishna is saying. Uh, the two medicines I suggested. You get it in the pills form. Take four four pills three times a day for three days. it is advisable you maintain the 30 minutes gap in between the two remedies and preferably you take the homeopathy medicine always before food at least 10 15 minutes before food because the homeopathy medicine it starts working in the mouth itself in the mouth through the sentient nerves the medicine starts working so it is advisable that in empty stomach or before food you take because because after food the tongue will have the coating of the food that is why uh parvati swarna asking ma'am where can we get the drugs around anna nagar my clinic is in arumbakam very much close to anna nagar if you are convenient you can come or you search for any homeopathy pharmacy nearby your area these are the well known remedies must be available i think ms neela krishna i attended uh, mrs uh, madam lata Gutta Palli asking if we take other medicines in our regular intake, can we take this medicine? Of course, you can take because homeopathy medicine works through the nerves. And uh, what you can do is you maintain a 30 minutes gap either before that medicine or after this medicine to be on the safer side. Neela Krishna again asking, can heart patient also take this medicine? My daughter, husband, mother-in-law are all heart patients. Oh, unfortunately, so many. please take care of them yes it is very very safe because these medicines are the ultra dilutions having no drug substance crude in it so very safe for them and it is a matter of only 3 days they can definitely take it 
Rajeshwari Shamla, how many uh, number of tablets arsenical? Four tablets in one dose. Rubina Asgar, I think I have attended the question. Someone else has asked, along with allopathy, you can take or not. 30 minutes gap I suggested. Mr. Suresh Krishnamurti asking whether it can be bought over the counter. Of course, you can buy it over the counter. Sai Lalita, you can get it either from my clinic or from any homeopathy pharmacy near your place. Soumil Shah, oxygen deficiency. Definitely, if you have a veil over your face, the definitely little bit of obstruction will be there. Free air will not come. So don't worry. So you have to manage with that little bit loose mask where you can have the space to enter air yeah, that you can try. Can these medicines affect the patient having BP and diabetes, Mr. Santosh Kumar? It will not affect. I have suggested the safer uh, powers and it is a matter of only three days. And also I have suggested 30 minutes gap to be maintained. So nothing to be worried. For the diabetes patients also, the quantity of sugar, what you get in this medicine, it is very, very least if you compare with your regular food of the diabetics. So be safe and be assured. No side effect, Meenakshi Janaki Raman asking. Absolutely, these are very, very free from side effect. Homeopathy is the, uh, in my uh, knowledge, is the only uh, system of therapy where you do not have the crude drug substance, raw medicinal substance, we do not have ultra diluted substances. So very, very free from side effect, be assured. Pradha Priyadarsini, ma'am, doses is the same for all age groups. Yes, if it is an infant baby below two years, then dosage will be only two pills twice a day. I repeat. Infant baby below two years, only two pills twice a day for three days. Mr. Murugavil, if you have any uh, doubt whether you got that infection or not, you can uh, go to the uh, for the checking the blood that will confirm the diagnosis. Mr. Murthy K7. I offer the medicine in a very, very subsidized price, which is much lower than the market price. Mrs. Anita Padmanavan, yes, you can definitely give for your kids. Very much advisable. Doses will be the same for 7 to 10 years in the selvam. Uh, Anupama Rajesh, should we take the preventive every month for 3 days? Because yes, definitely you should take it because now... The prevalence is strong, so at least for two, three months, you should take it. Supraja Balachandran, children of all ages can take above two, as the doses I have given. Sneezing is the indication of corona. Sneezing is the indication of cold, Mr. Suresh Krishnamurti. Do we have any food restriction while using homeopathy? No, not at all. Lata Gatyupali, there is no food restriction at all. You take everything. Maintain a gap of 30 minutes before or after food. Mr. Murugabal, if you have any doubt um, that whether you got this infection of corona or not, you just get it checked, the blood check to be done. Mr. Rekha Suman, I have given the medicine for the immunity only. This is the general immunizing medicine against the viral infection we have used this uh, arsenical even for the h1n1 also earlier <clears throat> steaming can be done that is no doubt fine so i think uh, time is up still if you have any doubt feel free to whatsapp me i'm sure you are a participant in my webinar so that i can give you um, special attention Please do take down my number 98403-48971. This is only the WhatsApp number, not for calling, please. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me that. Or you can visit my website also for further information. Thank you so much for attending patiently to me.
Once again, I am thankful to the management of Kola Permal School for encouraging me for this, and especially the director, Mr. Nilakantan Pillai, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And wish you all a very good health. And I wish as soon as possible you all come over this crisis of Corona. Thank you and goodbye.